today we're going to make a castle. And we're going to start with one tower. We're going to make a straight line and a straight line. And then we're going to make a straight line on the bottom. So this is a cylinder. It looks like a square from the side and it's a circle from the top. But look at this circle. If we turn it like this, it's no longer circle. It's now an oval. And now it's a skinny oval. And then it gets to be a really skinny oval. And then it's a straight line. And if you move it more, it starts being a curved line like this. And it'll get more and more and more and more curved. If you're on the ground looking at a big, tall, round building, this line is going to be kind of straight. But this line is going to be curved. This cylinder, we're going to draw a straight line here. And we're going to draw a curved line here, just, just a little curve. Then let's make a couple of dots here. And then we're going to make another curved line. Now we're going to see another curved line and it's going to go behind it. So we, we stop drawing here. There we go. Then we're going to draw another couple of straight lines and another curved line. And now we have ourselves a tower and we're going to go bumpy, 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 and put the Merlons on here. So they did this because you can stand up here. Here's some little guy. Hi. And he can be on the top of the tower. And if you try to shoot an arrow with this guy, he can just jump behind one of these Merlons here. And then he can jump out and throw something back at you. So that's what these things are. We're going to go make another one. So we'll make two straight lines and a straight line on the bottom and a curved line on the top. Make our two dots and a curved line and almost a curved line. If this were made out of glass, you'd see the line go all the way through it. Then we're going to make two straight lines and another curved line and crenellate the top of this one too. Now we got two towers. We're going to make a wall. Put a straight line here and a straight line here. It was kind of like a bed. Then we'll crenellate the top of this wall. And then we need a door. So we're going to draw two straight lines and a curved line on the top. And we're going to have the portcullis open. So we'll make three little lines like this and maybe one like that. That's this big jail grid thing that they can drop down. So when the bad guys come, they can drop it. It goes clang and you're not getting in. So we're also going to make a line that goes out at an angle like this and another one that goes out at an angle like this. And then we're going to make these go to the bottom of the page. And now we've got a road and it looks bigger where it's close to us and where it gets further away, it gets smaller. So now we've got a road that goes into our castle. Now let's make an inner keep. Let's draw two lines and draw a line on the top. And we're going to bumpy up this one. Now castles have tall windows. They don't, they, they're not going to have a window that looks like, like that. Have you ever actually seen a house with a window like this? This is a symbol for a window. You, windows don't actually look like that, especially on a castle. It's hard to make big wide things on a castle when you're stacking up blocks. So you want two long lines and a straight line and a curved line. And that gives you a big tall window like this. There we go. Now let's go make some texture to this. Let's go put a couple of circles together here. So it looks like it's made out of rocks. We don't have to do the whole thing. We just need to do a couple here and there. And then your brain says, oh, this is made out of stones. We don't have to spend time drawing all of them. We'll make a couple of them over here too. There we go. Now the next thing we need 
is a place for the castle to be. I mean, it's here on a white piece of paper, but there's nothing around it. So let's go make some mountains. There's maybe like one mountain. Let's see another one that kind of goes up behind the castle like this. It's like a big old mountain. And then we'll drop down like that. Now the mountain is behind the castle. And we're going to go make us some trees back here. So I'm going to go leafy, 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 and put a stick. Leafy, 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 and put a stick. Leafy, 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 and put a stick. And let's make a tree right here that's kind of close to us. So let's make a lot of leafy. Then we'll take a brown. There we go. That tree's close to us. We want more detail on it. We'll make some grass. We, we don't really want to color the thing in green. We want the texture of grass. And the best way to do that is to go up, 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 up. From a little group like that. Up, 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 up. And you might say, well, I don't want to spend that much time doing this. This goes pretty fast. And just like the rocks, we don't have to do this everywhere. There's some here and some here. And then back over here, we're, we're going to make these smaller because they're further away. They're going to appear to be smaller. And now we can come in with the back of the crayon and get some green color in it. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Now, we need to take care of this example. We're gonna turn that into something. I'm gonna make some more square shapes like this and see what I come up with. There it goes, it's a pile of rocks. Look at that. I didn't have to race, I didn't have to start over. I've got a, something I didn't want in my drawing and I made it into a better drawing. I'm gonna make this go off the edge of the screen. There we go, see? It looks like I put it there on purpose. I meant to do that, now it looks good. We're gonna make some stones on our road here. We'll make some big ones right here where it's close to us. And I'll make some little ones way back here where it's further away. And since we got our blue out, let's go make ourselves a sky. Now, we're not going to put a sun in this one. Yeah, you may see the sun when you're outside, but when you're looking out the window, you don't always see the sun. Sometimes the sun might be like just over here. And, and if the window were two inches that way, you'd see the sun. The sun might be behind you. Even if you're outside, you may not see the sun unless you turn your head around. So we're just going to draw a nice blue sky here. And we can leave some gaps because those look like clouds. And now we're almost done, but I want to put some shading on this. So let's pretend that the sun is over here someplace. Here we go. Let's say the sun's over there. We're going to make it darker on the side away from the sun. Now, we're not making this dark everywhere. Just here on the side. And this one gets it too. And it's going to be kind of dark under here as well. Now this is going to be kind of dark. We'll, we'll shade it, but it won't push down very hard. So it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of dark, but it's not as dark as that. Now, we need some arrow slits. These are these little skinny windows you see here. You can stand inside one of these things, inside the tower, and you can shoot an arrow out through that window 
and hit somebody attacking the castle and it's gonna be really hard for them to send an arrow or a rock back in there so you can shoot back and be very well protected so the castle's here but the Sun is casting a shadow on it there should be a dark spot on the grass like this and there should be a dark spot on the sides of our mountain as well we're going to use a blue because that makes this blank part look like snow and we can put some shadows next to our trees and on our pile of rocks let's add a little bit of brown to this this is a really kind of a blue castle but if you add a little bit of brown to it blue and brown don't really make a pretty color so it'll make a good stone color That's looking really good. The last thing I want to do is put some yellow inside the window so there's a fire going on. It's nice and nice and inviting. We need to put some yellow inside here. And I believe that will do it for our castle. Okay, so thank you for watching. I will make some more videos later. Hope to see you then.